name is Estelle Brink and I'm with Jericho Walls International Prayer Network. We are busy looking at the effect and danger of prayerlessness. Last time we looked at an example of what happens when we pray and when we don't pray, and when we have a prayer life and when we don't have a prayer life. And we said that prayer protects our hearts and minds. Prayerlessness creates a lack of to slip into our lives and exposes us to battles we were never designed to face. Playlessness disconnects us from God and leaves us vulnerable to the attacks of the enemy. So I want to ask you a straight question. That's where we ended last time. What does your prayer life look like at the moment, this past week, this past month? Are you connecting with God in prayer? Are you still still keep on bringing matters before Him in prayer? I'm not saying that every prayer will be answered every time just because we pray. But let it never be said of us that we allowed a sickness to go unchallenged because we didn't resist it in prayer. Let it never be said of us in our cities that we just accepted whatever wickedness takes place. Let it never be said of our nation that we became despondent and stopped crying out for righteousness and justice to be established. Let it never be said of us that we did not cry out for revival to come to the church. Let it never be said of us that we lost faith in God who answers prayer. That, that, that would be a very sad day. It would break the heart of our Father should we ever decide to stop speaking to Him in prayer. Let it never be said of you that you did not keep on pressing back darkness because you do have the light of Christ in you. Be aware of this. There is a constant battle between light and darkness. You as a believer, filled with the Holy Spirit and burning with passion in prayer, are like a fiery furnace in the Spirit. You may not be aware of it, but the brightness of your passion for Christ in the Spirit, that brightness scatters the enemies of the cross. The passion you have for Jesus Christ in the natural, in the Spirit, that brightness that shines from you expels darkness from areas, from offices, from schools, from hospitals, from restaurants, everywhere you go. When you are filled with the fullness of the Holy Spirit and the power of prayer, darkness certainly will flee before you. We read of this in Romans 13 verse 12 that says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. I invite you right now, cast off all darkness, all despondency, all depression, all anxiety, all fear, all unbelief. Repent of these things before the Lord in prayer and return to the place of prayer before Him. 1 John 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Heed the words of Jesus in Mark 14 verse 38 that says, Watch and pray lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And in 1 Peter 4 verse 7 it says, But the end of all things that is at hand, therefore be serious and watchful in your prayers. I encourage you again today, Take up your times of prayer with the Lord. He is faithful and true to His word. Do not become despondent, whatever happens to you. Be strong in prayer. He certainly adds your prayers to the bowls in heaven, and He will certainly not let one heartfelt prayer fall to the ground. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray that you break off all despondency and prayerlessness from our lives. In Jesus' name, set us free from these bonds of wickedness. Fill us again 
with your Holy Spirit. Baptize us with a spirit of prayer to cry out to you day and night for the things that are on your heart in full faith that you will not set us to pray without having an answer ready to pour out. In the name of Jesus, I pray that even in this week, prayers will be gathered in the bowls in heaven and it will be added to the others that in the right time, you will pour out the answer to our long-awaited prayers. In Jesus' name, amen.